Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be a little bit different, different location first of all. Today what I'm looking to do is go back over some footage from a shopping trip I recently took to Ikea. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead, keep on watching, give this video a like, leave me a comment, subscribe. Let's get into it. So I went to Ikea this weekend um, just to kind of look around. Nothing completely in particular, that's a lie. There was one thing in particular that I really wanted. Now I knew going in that it was out of stock. Um, pro tip, check to make sure whatever you're looking for, if you do want to pick it up that day, is in stock because things fly off the shelf there. So you definitely want to make sure that you're not going for no reason. We have two that are about the same distance. They're both about an hour away. So it's definitely worth your time to go online, find the item, see if it's in stock before you make the trek out there. But went in, I just wanted to see it in person. I, you know, you see it online, you see it on Pinterest, Instagram. I'll get into what that item is a little bit later, but just seeing it in person to make sure that that is something that I definitely wanted. And I mean, spoilers, it is completely heartbroken that I couldn't pick it up, but you know, I will get it eventually. It should be back in stock next week i think it's next week so i will i will order it immediately and if i cannot order it and get it from online i will absolutely 100 percent make the drive back out to pick it up because i will have that so before i get into it um i'm really new to this i don't understand the etiquette i guess of filming in public i don't know if you're supposed to allowed to whatever the case is so I just filmed a bunch of footage. I'm gonna kind of do almost a reaction video, walking through what I filmed, um, try to organize it in a way that makes a little bit more sense, a little bit more flow. But also, Ikea is crazy. Have you been there before? So everybody knows the typical, you know, Ikea furniture pieces, they're classics, they're iconic pieces. But the store itself, is Costco on steroids. It was so packed. It was just absolute chaos. So if you do have any type of uh, social anxiety, close spaces, big crowds, I would highly suggest going off hours, off time, maybe first thing in the morning when they open because basically it's just, it's a lot. There's so much going on. And even though at the, about the halfway point, I started to get a little bit overwhelmed. It still took us almost two hours to get through the entire store. So we're gonna get into watching the video. We go over a couple of things that I think were really cool, things that I think aren't completely worth it, some things that definitely surprised me, and some things that, you know, maybe maybe aren't really worth your time there. So we're going to start watching over here and I will see you guys here in a minute. All right, so starting off in the kitchen section. Not sure if this is something you all know about. Ikea does amazing kitchens. So everything from the cabinetry to the countertops, a couple other items, you can build an entire kitchen from Ikea that actually looks really phenomenal. A lot of their drawers, I mean, they have the deep drawers, they have all these hidden compartments. You can see here where the um, utensils are. So cool here. Here you can see just a different color. This is a very deep drawer where you could put, you know, trash can, recycling, all of that. Another hidden drawer here. Now I wanna talk about these sponges real quick. So you can see these are a nice neutral gray and white, $1.99 for a three pack. If you have a neutral color palette in your home, think about your typical sponge. You go to the store, they are neon yellow and green, or they are, you know, bright blue and a slightly darker blue. If that's out in your sink, which I mean, you could always obviously just clean up your dishes, put them away, out of sight, out of mind. But these are actually really cool. And just having something that goes with your color palette that's not going to be that huge color disruptor, these are actually a great idea. All right, we have some of that slab front, which is very in right now, just a push to open. So it comes with a lot of different variety, different things you can do um, just in that cabinetry. Again, very, very nice, very good quality here. Wine rack, this was very pretty. Um, a lot of it, Ikea, I feel like is known for a little bit of a, a cheaper quality and some of it is, but this was actually really nice and deep drawers, great organizational look here. And again, with that soft close. Hardware, you guys, this, 
they have everything. If you want gold, if you want chrome, if you want matte black, if you want white, different sizes, different styles. If you need hardware at an affordable price, this is fantastic. I'm gonna pause here again for just a second. So a very easy upgrade, no matter where you are, but especially I'm gonna say for rentals. So when you're renting, it's really hard to make a place your own. You're not sure, you know, you can't make any permanent changes without getting permission. Switching out the hardware is really easy. It is a very low cost option. And you just, you unscrew everything, make sure that you have the right sizing. So you wanna measure the holes in between a pull to make sure that you are getting one that will match up but you just unscrew them. It does no damage to the cabinetry. Put it all in a baggie, hide it in the back of a cupboard somewhere and switch it out for these nicer upgraded pulls, knobs, whatever it is. It'll make such a big visual difference. And again, it can be very affordable if you go from somewhere like Ikea, Amazon, um, Wayfair has a bunch, but definitely something to look at here. Here's where all of those butcher block tops are. Some of the different type of um, just countertops. Again, different color choices. Everything was just, I was so surprised. They have cords? I, I had no idea that they did all of this. Um, different colors, different styles. You could really get an entire kitchen and I was just, just so surprised here. Different cabinet colors, different fronts. We have glass, we have slab, we have that kind of you know, more ornate style, we have the shake style. Everything is just, again, completely astounded with the different options. You could create your dream kitchen right here in this store. Appliances, I had no idea. So we're looking at you know, stoves, ranges, vent hoods, they'll have over here in just a second. I'm going to show the sinks and the different um, hardware there. Dishwashers. I mean, I, I cannot speak to the quality for any of this. I have to be completely upfront and honest with you. No idea what that uh, would look like. But again, just if you are looking for an entire kitchen renovation, I mean, you have it right here for some, some really great prices, a lot of different options, different styles just something really cool that I did not know about. And if you are not looking for an entire kitchen renovation, but you do need a kitchen island, this is so cute. So it's got the little deco siding, it's got you know, shelving on one side, the little space on the other for a couple of counter height stools. So cool. Their basket selection is so, so good. A couple different sizes of items here. I'm gonna to try to link things below for some of these things that you might like. Over here, some baskets. Storage is always a great option. It's got this nice heavy top, so you could also use this as a little side table, um, store some blankets, some extra throw pillows, something like that. It is in black right here but then you also have a couple different size options and color options in the white as well. Over here, going into kitchen storage, food storage, all of that, containers, I swear. They have so many containers and they look great. These are so cute. I definitely want a couple of these. When we do get our kitchen, not necessarily with the chalk label, but again, different options. Um, got a nice seal for them. From here, we've got that utensil organization. You have it in this really pretty bamboo. You've got some plastic options as well. So just depending on your price range and what you're looking for, they have it. The storage inside the cabinet to kind of really use that vertical space if you, you know, want to stack and display a little bit better. So let's talk about this bed. I'm not, I'm not sold. Okay, I'm gonna pause it here for a second. I am not sold on a four poster bed. There's something about it that I really like and I think is really, really cool and pretty. I'm not sure about it in practice, but this is one of their new items. You can see the orange sticker right here. This was very, very pretty. It comes in a couple different colors as well. All right, we're gonna pause here again real quick. Do you like these leather poles? I This is something that just astounds me. They, they've been very in and I think they are just 
ugliest thing. I, I just, I don't get it. It's not for me, obviously. People like different things. I don't know. It, it looks a little funny to me. I, I'm not personally a fan. If you are, go ahead, let me know below. And I just, I don't get it. It's, it's not for me. So continuing on, um, sometimes you just need a very simple nightstand, something to put beside the bed, especially for a guest room. Some of these smaller ones can be perfect just to make sure you have somewhere to, you know, put a lamp. So I loved the look of these love seats. They came in a couple different colors. But then I went to touch, feel, you know, I'm very, you know, tactile and texture is something that's really important for me here. And I gotta say, they, they were a little rough. They weren't, they weren't that kind of comfy that I was really hoping for. So I was a little bit disappointed there. Now this ottoman I thought was very cool. Houndstooth, I'm not quite sure if it is my style, but it was soft. It was a good little size. They have some larger ones as well go with a lot of decor styles. This blanket, okay, I was so disappointed. It is not soft at all. I kept going around and touching this blanket every time I found it because I was like, maybe I, maybe it was a bad one, maybe, I don't know. I'm trying to make an excuse for a blanket. This, it looks great. It would be great to style over an arm of a chair if you just want it for that style purpose. It's very affordable, comes in a couple different colors. Um, it's got that nice fringe. Um, it's just, it's not something that I want to snuggle up with. I was very heartbroken about this. But moving on to this next blanket, I am so sad I should have bought this. I didn't even, you can see here, I didn't even turn my phone horizontal. I was so excited about it. It's got that kind of double-sided. It is so soft. It looked so nice. I, I should have bought that. I'll probably go back and get it eventually. All right, so they have these really cool deck tiles. They have it in this, this brown color, they have it in gray, they have a couple different tile options. But if you have a small balcony, these can really upgrade the look of that flooring. Rugs, okay, we're gonna pause this one again here in just a second. So, Ikea has some really affordable rugs. They have some really great looking ones. They do tend to be a little bit more on the thin side, so it's just something to be aware of. Um, you'll also probably wanna put a rug pad and get those nice thicker ones to give a little bit more of a luxurious feel. But with this, what they did here was really cool. So, they have two rugs that they've just kind of put together. A lot of their rugs are a little bit smaller. What they did is they kind of, you know, the patterns don't match exactly. But sliding the two together here actually made for a really nice look. I thought that was very clever. They have two really awesome ones. So continuing from this rug, this table was very pretty and so is this next one. This is one of my favorites here. Um, it is very sturdy, it feels pretty solid and it is a great size. It can fit you know, six people pretty comfortably. If you need an affordable dining room table, these two are absolutely fantastic. So first of all, floor lamps, task lighting, so, so important. They have some cute little minimalist ones like this white one. This black one, I really liked. I know they also make this in a table lamp. Again, great options, very minimal, very affordable. These, I have no idea. I just thought they were really fun, really cool. Not my style at all, but I don't know. There's something about them that was a little bit fun, a little bit different. Maybe it's something you're into. Again, I'll link these below just in case. Little table lamps, thought these ones were very cute. Has a little cord that you can wrap around there. Couple more with that kind of rattan wicker feel. And then these little, canister kind of lights. I don't know. They were a little bit sculptural. Here's a better view of one. A little bit of like a, a tulip kind of idea. This little Death Star looking thing. Actually very, very cool. We're going to play with it in just a second so you can get the full view. But this is the same lamp as that little Death Star one. It's just like an exploded version of it. So here it is. You have the little pulley system. It can be closed or you can pull this down and it opens up. I thought that was just really fun. A little bit interactive, a um, little bit different. Again, not my style, but just very, very interesting. A little bit more unique. All right, this is it. We're gonna pause. This pendant light is why we were here. I have seen this everywhere. You've seen this everywhere. It is 
immensely popular. This lamp is $70. It is made out of bamboo. It's actually hand woven. I absolutely love the look of this. Now, when you go to somewhere like Ikea where it has all of these iconic pieces, some people will say that this light has been overdone. And I, I can absolutely agree with that. I mean, it took Pinterest and Instagram by storm. The whole rattan and wicker light fixture just exploded. You see it everywhere. It can be overdone very easily. That being said, I love this thing and I want it so bad. This is the light that I want for my office at the house. And here's the thing, you can listen to everybody about, you know, different style tips and oh, something becomes, you know, overdone when everybody has it you know, then it kind of loses what makes it unique and, oh, you don't want that, everybody has it. I don't care, I want this lamp. So it's just something to think about just because it's something that, you know, stylists, people who are into decor, um, you can watch everybody on YouTube, on Instagram saying that, you know, oh, everybody knows this is from Ikea, everybody knows how much you paid for it, um, don't do it, again, it's done too much. If you love it and you want it, don't listen to anybody else. First of all, yeah, this thing is $70. That's amazing. I have a light fixture upstairs that I wanted to put in our family room that was like $400. The moral of that was light fixtures can get very expensive. I see no reason that something that I think is this beautiful being cheap is a knock against it. I just needed to see it in person. It is huge. It is beautiful. I'm very excited for when I finally do get to get that. mirrors they have some great affordable mirrors these circular ones are very in right now with that kind of thin especially in the black lining oh you can see us there hi now this mirror very cool still with that circular shape but it went from thin to thick at the bottom again both of these come in a couple different colors Their plants are actually not bad. Um, they also, what I really like about them, so these are their fake ones, I believe they sell real as well, but they come with the little decorative pots that are meant to fit right in. A lot of times you get the plants and they come in that just kind of regular you know, black pot and then you have to buy something separate and you're not quite sure if it's gonna fit. You know these ones will fit right away. So again, a couple different options. This was pretty cute. All right, so everybody says Besta. I'm pretty sure it's actually called the Besto, but this is again, one of their iconic pieces. It just came in so many more finishes than I was really aware of, but this had that nice wave. It came in a matte textured finish. Again, a little bit different than what you see. Normally Ikea, you know, has the white, they have their brown black, and then they have their oak finish, but Again, they're just really broadening their range here with a couple of different options. They really do great with a lot of the lighting um, involved as well. So light tends to be an option in just about all of their pieces. So this is the wall for all of the different finishes, colors, all of that. They had this one as a little bit of a like coppery, um, deep brown metallic finish, which I had never seen before. I mean, they have some of that texture here in this nice light natural wood color. I was just so impressed with the range. Again, so right before this, you saw those three typical colors that they usually have with everything. These were just really very nice. I was pleasantly surprised with their options and you can go through pull them out take a look this stone was kind of cool just a bunch of different things that you can do here to really customize it to fit whatever really speaks to you
So this is one of their iconic pieces. Everybody knows this one. Now these you will find hacks for all over Pinterest, Google, anywhere. So you can really make these look phenomenal. What I love about them is they come with all of these different pieces that you can fit inside, whether it's the box, whether it's these drawers. Again, these just come as a unit that you just kind of put in there. Over here, they also have doors as well. So just a great storage option if you are looking for something very affordable. And these inserts are really cool. You just kind of screw them into the side there. And just a lot of different things you could do. This is their closet organization. This is, I believe, underutilized. Um, they also have a tool online where you can go and kind of build out your walk-in closet. I'll leave a link to that below as well. But they just have so many different great options for your storage, for making your walk-in closet you know, look and feel a little bit more high-end. Other than that, they just had a bunch of other fun little options. Let's take a look. So that was our trip to Ikea. Thank you so much for coming along. Again, I think there are some absolutely fantastic options here. There are always those ones that, you know, aren't so great, but I do hope to do a little bit more shop with me's in the future. Hopefully next time we do one, I will actually buy something. But again, I will be getting that pendant light here, you know, fingers crossed, hopefully very soon. I do hope to see you in the next video. You can follow me on Instagram here at neves.nicole for a couple more house updates, more day to day as we see everything happening in real time. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I will see you in the next one. Till next time. Bye.